Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, in this video we're going to be talking about the base changing formula. Right? So in under logarithms, right? So the base changing formula for logarithms. Now I'm actually going to derive that formula for you. So let's suppose we're going to start with let's say that m is equal to log of a x to the base a. So from here we can actually say that a to the power m is x, right? Something which is very basic. Now let's do one thing here. Now let's suppose we actually want to take a different base. So let's actually take a different base here. Let's take the base b. So let's say the, the log of base b of x a to the power m is actually equal to log of b of x. Fine. Now from here, if we actually use the power law, bring the m here, we're going to have m log of b, log of a to the base b, is actually equal to log of x to the base b. Right? So that is what we have. And we also know that m is equal to log of a to the base x. So that means if I substitute, sorry, x to the base a, if I substitute m from here, I'm actually going to get log of x to the base a times log of a to the base b is actually equal to log of x to the base b. Fine. Similarly, if I actually take this, I keep this, that is log of x to the base a is equal to log of x to the base b divided by log of a to the base b. This is called the base changing formula. Right? I'm just gonna explain everything again. Let's suppose m is equal to log of x to the base a, which actually gives us this equation that a to the power m is x. Right? If I take any other log base on both sides and bring this m here and substitute m from here, I'm actually going to get this. So basically it means that if I have any logarithm, let's suppose log of uh, log of any logarithm, let's suppose log of x to the base a. If I want to change the base, I will say log of x over log of a to any base. It can be any base, right? So that is how you actually change the base of two logarithms. Now why do you need to change the base? Because if you want to use the power law, if you want to use the multiplication law, if you want to use the division law, you need the base of both the logarithms to be same, especially for the multiplication and the division law. If you want to say that log of a plus log of b is actually equal to log of ab, then you need the base to be same, which means this is going to be a very, very effective formula. Right? So let's go ahead and put that to test. Let's suppose uh, I'm going to start with a question here. Let's suppose the question is I want to find out log of x to the base 5 uh, plus 6 log of x, log of 5 to the base x is equal to 5. I need to solve for x, right? So let's go ahead and try that. Now what I want is first I actually want the base of this to be changed to 5. So I have log of 5 x to the base 5 is e plus 6 times. So if I want to change the base here, that will actually be equal to log of, uh, so I will change the base to 5 because we have 5 here, 5 of this 5 divided by log of x, 5, x to 5. That will actually be equal to 5. Now something that you know that uh, this is actually going to be equal to 1. So I have log of x to the base 5 plus 6 into 1 which is 6 over log of x to the base 5 which is actually equal to 5. Now let me do one thing here. Let me say that log of, so let me say that the log of x to the base 5 is equal to y. So this is y plus this is y is equal to 5. So what I'm going to have, I'm going to have a quadratic equation here. So if I multiply by y here and I multiply by y here, I'm going to get y square plus 6 is equal to 5 times y, which means I'm going to get y square minus 5y plus 6 is 0. 
Splitting the middle term is going to be y square minus 3y minus 2y plus 6 is 0. So I just split the middle term. y into y minus 3 minus 2 into y minus 3 is equal to 0. So I have y minus 3 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. So that means y could be 3 or y could be 2. Which means that log of, since y is equal to this, so which means that log of x to the base 5 could be 3 or log of x to the base 5 could be 2. So these are the two possibilities that I have. Which means if I convert this, that means 5x is equal to 5 to the power 3. Or if I convert this, x is equal to 5 to the power 2, which means x could be 125 or x could be 25. See? So that is how we solve these problems uh, here, right? So suppose you're understanding this point, all of these steps, what I've done is, I think I've done it pretty uh, smoothly here, right? So I suppose you're understanding this point. So let's say that uh, we actually solve one more question. Hmm. All right. Now let's say we have this uh, question over here. So let's say we have this question and we have to solve for x, right? So let's say we have this. It's going to change my pen color. All right. So this is equal to log of x to the base 2 plus. We're going to change the base here to 2. So we're going to have log of x divided by log of 4 uh, to the base 2 to the base 2, which is actually equal to 2. Now something that you know that log of 4 to the base 2 is equal to log of 2 of 2 square, which is equal to 2 times log of 2 to the base 2, which is actually equal to 2 times 1, which is 2, right? Because this thing is 1 and uh, this 2 is going here. So this can be written as log of 2 to the base, uh, x to the base 2 plus log of x to the base 2. So you have 1 by 2 here, which is equal to 2. So this is log of x to the base 2 plus log of, so this is nothing but x to the power 1 by 2 into 2 is equal to 2. So you have log of x into x raised to the power 1 by 2 to the 2 is equal to 2. So I'm using, using the multiplication law, this into this. So this is going to be log of 2 of x raised to the power 1 plus 1 by 2, which is 3 by 2, which is actually equal to 2. Fine. So this is what we have here. And uh, so that means what we're going to have is. So that means from here I'm going to say 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 2 is equal to x raised to the power 3 by 2. Squaring both sides I'm going to have uh, 16 is equal to x to the power 3. Because this 2 and this 2 will cut. Right. And uh, that means 16 to the power 1 by 3 is actually equal to x. So that is going to be my answer. Fine. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. And uh, this is about the base changing formula. So suppose you're understanding uh, all about it, guys. Right. So this is actually pretty important. So thank you very much for watching this video. Right. I suppose you understood everything here. Right, so this would be our website address to explore more about us. Don't forget to explore more about us on perfect-course.com. And this would be our Facebook page to give us your valuable like. And this would be our email address to give us your valuable feedback. So this would be about this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.